biggest theme I thought here was contamination. My name is John Sirico and I'm studying journalism and politics at NYU. I have a huge belief that photography can be an entryway to activism and things happening like all these terrible nuclear issues. Good afternoon, and my name is Hyoko Goto. I'm a vice president of Human Rights Now. Human Rights Now is an organization, an NGO, uh, based in uh, Tokyo, uh, Tokyo, Japan. And uh, we are usually is, um, focus on the, uh, the human rights violation in the Asian countries. But after the 311, and we realized that the human rights violation happens even in Japan. So then we uh, uh, tried to uh, think of, started to think about uh, the human rights violation in Japan. And these photos uh, come from the area, uh, the post evacuate, and also that they we uh, record the Fukushima. You know that name of Fukushima. And the Fukushima was not so famous before the accident happened. But uh, now the, the Fukushima has, uh, become, uh, became more uh, famous than the Hiroshima. We invite the uh, families from Fukushima, and uh, they evacuate from the uh, Koryama city uh, in uh, Fukushima. I am seven years old. 2011年3月11日、ブラグラッと大きな地震が来たとき、僕は福島県のコリアマ市に住んでいました。I have lived in Koryama city of Fukushima Prefecture until huge earthquake hit Japan on March 11, 2011。何日かしてお父さんとお母さんは必死で車にガソリンを入れようとしていました。a few days later, my father and mother were trying to get gas ring for our car. They wanted to evacuate from Fukushima after the explosion of the nuclear power plant. However, it was very difficult for us to get gasoline at the time. It was already 17th March when we finally arrived at my grandfather's grandmother's house in Tokyo. Since then, I haven't had a chance to either attend my kindergarten graduate graduation ceremony or meeting my friend in Fukushima. I feel sad because my father went back to Fukushima for his work and I can only see him once a month. I heard that there had been a nuclear power plant accident in the place called Chernobyl long time before I was born. I found out that fact that there were people who become ill under the influence of the radiation emitted from the accident, and the fact that there were many deformed children born after that accident.
僕は放射能のことがとても怖くなりました。I got frightened when I heard that we don't know how bad the current radiation level in Japan could harm the human body. 僕は思いました。なんで前にこういう事故が他の国であったとき、大人はいつか自分の国でも原発が危なくなるのと思わなかったんだろうと。僕は子供の頃、これが起こったとき、周りの大人に僕の夢はお医者さんになることです。一生懸命勉強して子供や地球を守れる立派な大人になりたいです。最後まで僕のお話を聞いてくださってありがとうございました。I have a dream to be a medical doctor. I will study hard and want to be a responsible grown up who protects children and the earth. Thank you very much for listening.、Uh, my name is Emily j o n and I'm the director of Peace Boat US.、Uh, we're also co sponsoring this event today.、Uh, thank you so much for coming. And thank you again to the families for coming and sharing your experiences.、Um, I think this event is so important not only because I just came from Japan where I lived for 10 years and I was there after the nuclear disaster and realized how it was affecting the lives of everyone in the country,、uh, no matter what your nationality is. And after moving to New York, I recently came here to be the director of Peace Boat US, I realized that Indian Point nuclear power plant is so close and it's only 25 miles away. And these families lived in an area just as close and the families that are being affected by radiation were in. An area that was just as close as where we are right now to Indian Point. So it's important that we understand the effects of radiation. It's something that most people don't know much about, and it's something that's not talked about in the media. It is now because of what happened in Japan, but it's slowly being forgotten. So I hope that for all the students here from the university and for everyone、uh, who's visiting today, that you'll take the time to read the captions on the photos,、um, have a deeper look into what's happening, and try to take something away with you today. That you can share with your family and friends.、Um, it's not always cool to talk about nuclear issues. The word nuclear itself is a scary word for a lot of people, but it's something that's real and it's something that we have to learn you know, about and it's something that we have to share. So I hope you、um, are able just to, to take a little bit of knowledge with you today and enjoy this time. And if you have any questions, feel free to talk to us anytime、uh, during the next hour or so. And、uh, we'd be glad to share our knowledge with you. So, thank you so much for coming today. And thank you for everyone who supported this exhibition. Thank you so much. I'm sorry, s o r r Um, I honestly, when I came here, I had no idea about any of this. And afterwards, I feel like I need to do something. I honestly did not know anything about the event even happening last year. And now I feel. So impacted, especially after hearing the stories of the children, it was very touching. When I go home, I'm going to go on my Facebook and tell everyone to look at this and educate themselves because I think that's a big part of what our, my generation is doing when it comes to educating ourselves and bringing awareness to things that we care about. Everyone's all about social networking.